Do, do, do. It's going to pop up here at some point. There we go. All right. So hopefully everybody's at the right session. Are you ready to apply to Wake Tech's nursing program? You've got the lead, Beth. I'm just going to okay. sit here and check chats. All right. Well, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Beth Walters. And I am responsible for nursing program admissions. I serve as an admissions counselor and academic advisor for the health sciences program. So welcome to the um, virtual session of are you ready to apply to Wake Tech's nursing program? Um, we will have a, a PowerPoint uh, presentation and at the end of each slide, if you will um you know enter your questions in the chat box then we'll take the opportunity to answer those questions after each slide and then also at the end of the session so thank you so much for joining this afternoon so the first step to applying to the nursing program is to make sure that you are a weight tech student so everybody should have a current weight tech application. Your major doesn't matter. Um, you do not need to reapply to weight tech if you're already a weight tech student. If you've been away for over a year, then you will need to complete a new weight tech application to reactivate your student record. And only submit any additional transcripts that you will need. Um, for example, if you are taking courses this summer at Durham Tech, we would need those transcripts to be um, sent to Wake Tech. Uh, you do not have to resubmit transcripts that we already have because they're part of your per permanent student record at Wake Tech. Um, the nursing information session, if you have not completed that, it is available online 24-7, um, and then there is a nursing test of understanding. If you've been gone longer than a year and you've been instructed to complete an updated nursing information session, we will consider this session as your update. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? I yeah, hope Beth, everybody. Yeah, just one, but I think it. Um, so just in case for the bio, someone was asking about if they're online. The the online bio requirement doesn't go into effect until July 31st, 2023. Yeah. So. So we've got two more years. Um, we will accept fully online um, biology 168 and 169 for two more years. OK. Excellent. All right, so specifically applying to the nursing program, you have to submit a separate application that is letting us know that you are ready to apply and that you basically want your name to be included with the nursing applicant pool. Uh, we do accept twice a year. Um, for fall and spring, so you would indicate which one you're applying to. And please know that you will not be considered um, to be eligible to take any nursing courses in your classes until you've applied and you've actually been selected for acceptance. Uh, the application uh, will require that you also include how you have met the nurse aid requirement. You'll have to have completion of a state approved nurse aid training program or be on the North Carolina nurse aid registry with a current CNA listing. And Shelly, should I give the extensions on this one <laughs> for the upcoming one? For the July 31st? Yep, go yeah. for it. Yes, so we do have um, an extension, a little bit of an exception because of the continued pandemic. If you are planning to apply by July 31st, 2021, as long as you are currently enrolled 
in a state approved nurse aid program by July 31st, that will end September 30th, you'll be eligible to apply for spring. And of course, if you've already completed a state approved program or you're on the North Carolina Nurse Aid Registry, you'll be fine. Uh, you will have to uh, submit the documentation of how you completed that nurse aid with the application. And we'll, we'll go over that. And Shelly has shared um, those applications with you in the chat box, but we'll be yep. going over that in a little bit. Okay. All right. So, um, as our nursing program becomes more competitive, uh, we are seeing that most of our students are completing at least eight, if not all nine of these pre-nursing courses, usually with a good combination of A's and B's. Um, our recent applicant pools for spring uh, 21, the group that started in January, we had 250 qualified applicants. Minimum points were 140. And then um, for this fall, admission we had 225 qualified applicants and our initial points for acceptance were 140. So there's nine courses that we look at your grades and that's how you earn the majority of your points. Um, so the English 111 and 112, your general psychology 150, the 241 is your developmental psychology or human development over the lifespan. Sociology 210 is the introduction to sociology. Humanities or fine arts elective, um, art, drama, music, philosophy, religion, other humanities courses like critical thinking, all of those courses are valid for a lifetime. And you see the better you do, um, the higher the points you'll earn. Your specific biology courses have a five year time limit. And you do earn a lot more points. So the 168, 169 are your anatomy and physiology one and two. And then your 175 is the microbiology. And we will substitute the 275, which is a four credit, uh, more in-depth study. So most of our students are applying to the nursing program when they have completed at least eight or all nine of these courses to have a reasonable number of points to be competitive for acceptance. Now, the TEAS exam awards points based on your score range. You do have to have a minimum 59 to be eligible to apply, but you do not earn any points until you reach that 71 to 80 range for six points, 81 to 90 for 12 points, 91 or higher for 20 points. Uh, we do allow you to take the TEAS exam twice in a calendar year but there is a minimum 30 day wait between exams. If you take the TEAS exam more than once, we will use the score, uh, the highest score from your English, reading, math, and science. So you can't lose any points. You can't lower your score if you retake the exam. Uh, currently, you would take the exam online through ATI and they give you a lot of flexibility with um, scheduling that exam. They include some weekend options, so it, it's really been nice for our students to be able to have a more convenient, um, you know, opportunities for different times and be able to take it from their home. And Beth, I, I wanted to yeah. add in just real quick or two things. The the biology courses due to the number of points they are worth, 
Um, you really do need to have A's and B's in those courses to be competitive. So when you are taking those biology courses, um, make sure if you have any difficulty when you begin the class, go to the STEM Center, go to the ILC Center. All of those tutors are there to assist you and hopefully do well in those classes. So please, please use them. Um, and also Christina had asked about how many students we accept, and this is a little difficult. I just gave you a flat out answer of 80, um, but please realize that even though the nursing department will send those letters out and they accept 80, we might honestly go through about 100 students to fill those 80 spots because students do change their minds. They're not ready to start. They go to a different school. Um, so even though that initial acceptance um, might be 80 students and the points might be 160 down to 145, the last student to get accepted might be 140 or 139 because Beth will call an approved applicant on the first day of class if someone doesn't show up to fill that spot. So yes, Annie said 80 out of 250, that is correct. So, right. but we might actually go through 100 to fill it because, you know, we go through the alternate list because people change their minds. Does that make sense? Is that a good clarification, Beth? Yeah, I think so. And, and please understand that a lot of our applicants with much lower points simply apply way too early. So that was one reason Shelly and I wanted to develop this session so that students can have a better idea of when it would be best for them to apply. You know, we've had students in the past who have applied for the nursing program who only had a handful of these pre-nursing courses completed. And even though they might have three or four courses with straight A's, there's no way they have enough points to be competitive with the other applicants that have been applying. Um, and I I've bet. been, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. finish up your I was statement. just gonna say, I've been doing this for 11 years now and we do have an increase in applicants and typically when the, we have more applicants, the points are much higher. Um, and Shelly's absolutely right. If you have a C grade in your bio courses, it's not reasonable to expect you'll have enough overall points to be competitive. Plus, I would like to stress you know, the importance of having that strong foundation in your anatomy, physiology, and microbiology, because those are the foundational courses that are critical to your success in the nursing program. So we will recommend if you have C's in your bio courses that you need to repeat to earn a minimum B. And it's not just for the grade and the points, but it's also to strengthen your foundation so you can be successful. Um, and I also wanted to mention, and you'll see on that nursing program checklist, when you retake a course, we will use the repeat grade for point award. And that's regardless of what the repeat grade is. So we will use the repeat grade for point award. So if you have a B in a course, you retake it and make a C, then you have lost points. But if you have a C in a course and you retake it and earn a B, then you have increased your points. So I hope that adds some extra um, clarification. And I see we have lots of I think we got questions. Them. And someone did ask about retaking a class, so that was what I was going to mention is if you could mention that retake policy. Yeah, so, and you did. So thank you. Yes, and I wanted to also can I also mention about the humanities fine arts since we give you so many choices. If you take more than one, we'll use the course that you earn the highest grade in. OK, so if you have Humanities 115, which is critical thinking, you have a B, but you also took music appreciation, you made an A. 
we'll use the music appreciation with the A to earn the 12 points. Okay, so how to find the clinical application online. So just go to waittech.edu. You can click on a degree, diploma, certificate programs, then click on the health sciences tile, choose associate in nursing, and then click on admissions, and you'll see the clinical application is about halfway down the page. Let's see if I can get us there. Hold on. Let's yeah. See. Let's see. Well, it went to that page. Let me see. I'm going to stop presenting and I am going to. Beth can answer this question. Will you guys okay. be releasing the points of the students accepted in fall 2021? Well, um, you know, we'll be happy to share that when we know the final number. The initial um, accepts had 140. Uh, next week, we will actually have our nursing orientation for the accepted and alternate students for fall. And then we'll have a better idea of who is going to follow through with acceptance, who has declined. The nursing department will be contacting alternates um, as needed to fill those vacancies. And then we'll have, um, I guess, an updated point range, but we truly won't know the final um, minimum points until August 16th, because that's the first day of the fall. Um, it's my understanding we have a few declines already. Um, so I think we're already at 139, but it could be lower than that. Um, you know, we still have, what, a little over seven weeks to go or a little bit of time. So right Let now, me, initial points 140. And Beth, can you can you see my computer screen now and see the Wake Tech web page? No, let's see. Okay. Wait Let a minute. See. Yes, I can. I'm so, okay. well, it keeps going away. There okay, well, that's because I stopped presenting. So oh, let me oh, go back oh. to presenting again. I can't see the chat now, guys. Okay. I apologize. Sorry about that. All right, that's okay. Can you see now? Can you see my Wake Tech page? I can. Okay, so hopefully everybody can see it. <laughs> so if you're looking for that nursing clinical application, you go to the Wake Tech webpage. Here's that degree diploma right there. Now, you can click Health Sciences if you want to. So you click the little health sciences and there is our associate of nursing program right there with that was a group of graduates we took a picture of at one point. And this is going to give you all kinds of information about nursing if you want that information. But you click here on admissions. And again, information about the nursing program. And here is the submit a separate application form 14. 86 and when you click on that the application will pull up now make sure that you save this to your computer before you fill it out and send it to us otherwise if you fill it out online and you send it to us it will be blank so make sure you save it to your computer so beth can you see the application yeah. okay yeah. good deal you want so me to go ahead and yep. yeah this is the nursing clinical application and it is three pages so and it's fillable so here you go go for it beth awesome okay so you see that you need to indicate if you're applying for fall or spring um you know the fall application deadline is january 31st uh the spring application is always july 31st i will mention for this year that july 31st is on a sunday so we will extend the application to Monday, August 1st. Um, so we will still accept that. So do indicate, you know, fall or spring and enter the year. Um, put your, you know, your name. Please enter your student ID number. So many times we'll get this information is blank or incorrect. We will reach out to you and say, hi, you know, we need <laughs> 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or whatever it is, phone number, and email, because lots of times there's missing information and we need to email you or call you. Um, the address, cities, um, state, zip, you should actually have that matching with your Wake Tech student record. So um, if you have moved or have an update with that, you should be able to go into your self-service um, and update that. And if not, you can reach out to us anytime at the HS advising at waitech.edu. Um, the date that you completed the nursing information session, if you don't know the exact date, you know, put, put in what you think is close. We have that information in your student record and we'll be able to verify it. If we see that you haven't completed an information session, then um, we'll ask you to do that. Or I guess we're going to use, you know, this one uh, to verify it. Now, the nurse aid, this is the one that we don't get the information we need a lot of time. So, completion of a nurse aid, you have to verify either that you're listed on the North Carolina Nurse Aid Registry and you need to attach your North Carolina Nurse Aid listing. You can go to um, NC nar.org and just put in your last four of your social security number, your first and last name, and it will pull up your listing and we'll need for you to attach that to your application. If you're going to submit it to email, then you can just take a screenshot. If you completed a state approved nurse aid program, whether it's at Wake Tech or another community college or a private facility like Care One, you can just attach a screenshot of the um, completion certificate. Now, the other option is if you are a nurse aid two, then you are listed on the North Carolina Board of Nursing, and then you can attach that option for the listing. Okay, do we have any questions about the nurse aid? I don't see any, but if possible, I could everyone make sure their speakers are, or their microphones are muted except for poor Beth, because Beth is doing the talking. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. Nope. nope. I got someone. I'll try yeah. to find you and mute you. OK, so, you know, keep in mind that the nurse aid is a requirement to be eligible to apply to the clinical nursing program. OK. All right, so. If you have not met. OK, the only thing I think both Anna and um, Nayla and I apologize, oh. Miss Barry, um, if you are taking the nurse aid class, it's not completed by July 31st, but it will be completed by the September 30th deadline. You just need to provide proof that you are enrolled in the class at Wake Tech. We can look it up, but if you're going somewhere else, we're going to need some sort of verification that you are in the class. Correct, and this is just an exception, an extension because of the continued pandemic. Um, I really don't expect that in the future. Um, just not sure, but I would plan on um, if you are thinking about applying by January 31st, 22 for follow 22. Um, I don't think we'll have any extensions at that time. Yeah, and January 31st is the application deadline for fall admission. Yeah. All right. 
and then okay the, the application yep yeah so everybody should have the reading english proficiency with a college level english course minimum c or better or you are not ready to apply to the program so that should be the one you will um, check the math, there's various ways to meet the minimum math proficiency, but we do have a 10 year limit on that. Um, it can either be, you know, um, minimum placement test scores or admissions test scores, college level math or statistics, completion of our developmental math modules or transition math through tier one. Um, if you have high school um, GPA waiver, actually it's a 2.2 or higher in the last 10 years, or we can have you um, either take the MOOC, which is an online um, math assessment, lessons and assessments, and that's th free through Wake Tech, or we have another option. If you have a minimum 78 score on the T's math, that's another option. So that's a lot of information. So just make sure that you reach out to Health Sciences Advising to make sure you have the math proficiency within 10 years or what are your options to meet that math proficiency. Um, the science. Everybody should have the Bio 168, which is the Anatomy and Physiology 1. And truthfully, you're going to also need that Bio 169, the Anatomy and Physiology 2. We don't recommend the T's exam until you've completed both Anatomy and Physiology 1 and 2, 168 and 169. And realistically, you will need those points to have a chance to have enough overall points to be competitive for our program. So everybody should be checking the Bio 168 as how they've met the science proficiency. English language proficiency, there is that third form is attached. If you have graduated from a U.S. high school and your first language is U.S. English, you would check that box. My first language is not U.S. English, but I only attended and graduated from a U.S. high school. That is another way to meet that proficiency. I completed high school in one of the following countries. And that does include um, Canada, except Quebec, because they're French speaking. Um, country, the United Kingdom, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, or the U.S. territories of Samoa, Guam, the Mariana Islands, or the Virgin Islands. The U.S. territory, ter territory of Puerto Rico is not eligible for exemption. So please look at those options to see if you could be exempt. If you graduated from an associate in applied science degree in an allied health science program at a U.S. college, or if you have a four year um, degree from a U.S. college or university, then those are all ways, uh, all five options are ways to meet your English language proficiency. If you have attended high school outside the United States and your first language is not U.S. English, you will be required to take the TOEFL. The TOEFL is the test of English as a foreign language exam. So again, if you graduated high school outside the United States and your first language is not U.S. English, you will be required to take the TOEFL test of English as a foreign language exam. There are four sections for reading, listening, speaking and writing. You have to have a minimum 19. For reading, lead, uh, 
reading, listening, and writing, minimum 24 for speaking. And this is out of 30 questions for each section. Okay, so anyone have questions about the TOEFL? All right, so just remember to complete it and sign it and return it with your application. All right, there we go, back to page two. So remember on your application, you have to check off one of the two. Absolutely. OK, and then for your T scores, if you'll enter your date, um, if you took your T's exam at a school, you know, like Wake Tech or Vance Granville, fine. But a lot of our recent T's exams are taken through ATI testing and you could just put ATI or online. Um, make sure that you do request your official score reports to be sent to wait tech your t scores are valid for three years okay. any questions about the t's exam Okay. Okay. Any other questions about the T scores or getting that in? Okay. All right. So you see the list of courses. We want you to check what you have completed. And please realize that if you took classes at other colleges, the course numbers might not be the same. Um, but we're just looking for, you know, how you think you met those two English courses. The humanities know that we will search for the humanities or fine arts that has the higher grade. That's what we'll use for points. Uh, the general psychology, developmental psychology, introduction to sociology, no time limit for those. And then the specific biologies do have a five year time limit. They all have labs. Um, so you do have, you know, lecture and labs for those. And you see that we will um, use the bio 275 for the 175. So you can just list the name um, of the college or university and make sure on the left side, check if it's complete or if you're currently enrolled. So some students are taking a summer class and you can check that you're enrolled if you're applying by July 31st or if you're applying for fall of 22, you might be enrolled in the class for um, fall of 21. And the humanities or fine arts, um, these are just some of the choices. You can check which one or if it's another one, um, you can write it in or, you know, we'll we'll search for that. And just make sure you sign and date the application. Okay. So I think that's that's the application, right? Yes, yeah. the three pages you will download it to your computer, fill it out and then you are going to send it back to us and I'll put it in here again. Um, our email is hsadvising at waketech.edu. Yeah. yeah, that's the best way to submit the application. Um, we are open Monday through Friday, eight to five with the exception of Monday, July 5th, if you're planning on applying by July 31st. Oh. <laughs> Does anyone I, I can re get away from this screen? Does anyone have any other questions specific for the application itself? OK. Do we only accept online applications? No, no 
I mean, it's fine if you can get a paper copy, you know, I think you just have to come on to the campus and do that. Okay, so let's. We're yeah, the, here. the approved countries are actually on the application that will exempt, give you the um, TOEFL exemption. Let me find those and I can put those yeah. on the screen. Um, and also, um, you know, submitting the application to the health sciences advising email is great, but you can also, you know, print the application or come in and fill one out and submit it when we're open Monday through Friday, eight to five. Um, I think we would prefer not to receive it in the mail because we can't always guarantee that the postal service will get it here. <laughs> So um, I think it will give you peace of mind to either email it or bring it in. There's no um, benefit in applying early, so it doesn't have to be quicker. Uh, we will not review applications for spring admission until after the fall term begins, and we will not start reviewing applications for fall until February. So maybe that information will help a little bit. Oh, there you go. All right. So I, was, I think we did we get OK, oh, Olivia, I'm sorry to get points for a class. We should wait to apply for the ADN program. OK, so yeah, I think what Olivia is asking and correct me if I'm if I've got this wrong, Olivia, you will only receive points for the class once it's been completed. So if the application deadline, so right now the next application deadline is July 31st, 2021. Beth is going to use any classes that have been completed through the summer semester. So classes you take in the fall are not going to be used for points in the ranking process. And then the January 31st, 2022 deadline for fall 2022 will use classes and points that have been completed through the end of the fall semester. Because it does take this last time for the ranking it takes Beth about a month to rank everybody because we have to go through transcripts, transcript evaluations. We send that list to the nursing department and then the nursing department has to decide how many students they can accept. Um, and this year with COVID, they had a lot, they had some difficulties and I believe letters were not sent out to accepted students until April. So it takes a while, unfortunately, to get all of this completed. So that's why you have that. You know that time frame between the times the student applies and you can start the nursing program. So did that answer hopefully? OK. I think any other questions why you've got Beth here? Yeah, please take this opportunity because we, you know, we have saved this time for you. Yep. OK, all right. So um, Beth, um, Faith wants to know and I, we covered this, but let's, you know, because it can be yeah. a little confusing. Do we have to take the seated class for biology courses to receive the points? No, um, we have extended that. Um, Policy will not go into effect until July 31st of 2023. So you can take completely online. Bio 168 169 and we will accept that. OK, and just to let you know, so Hannah asked and I, I texted back, but just to let everybody know she was asking about the T's test. Oh, yeah. The T's test must be completed by the application deadline. That's why it's on the application. 
Um, so if you're planning to apply July 31st, now that falls on a Saturday, like Beth said. So mm -hmm. you have until Monday, August 2nd to get us the application. Yep, yep. <laughs> and actually, Monday, August 1st. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Is it? Nope. But it's OK. Um, so we just need it by that date that we accept it. You know, so it's got to be in by the application deadline. So Beth is checking her calendar. I'm pretty sure August 1st is a Sunday. Is that my birthday? Oh, well, guess <laughs> what? I've lost my mind. It's OK. You can join the group here. I've got it. So, <laughs> it is August 2nd. Sorry. Yeah. I said so you it have wrong. Until, you have until August 2nd, 5 p.m. to get us those T-scores. And we do have yeah. people that submit them at the last minute. Um. Will ATITs provide scores immediately? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't make and realize that if you took it on the second, if for some reason they don't send it to, to us until the fourth, that's fine. You took it by the deadline. So it's just ATI getting us those scores. Right. Absolutely. As long as you take it by the deadline, you are fine. OK, and Loie, um wants to know even though I've completed all the prerequisites for the nursing program, I cannot apply for the nursing program unless I have completed the nurse aid one, correct? That is correct. And if you are wanting to apply by July 31st, you need to get enrolled in a nurse aid program that at least starts by July 31st and ends no later than September 30th to be eligible to apply for spring of 22 admission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that other? answer your question? I think so. We had a lot of good questions. I'm just making sure I think we have. Any other we can go back if you want to see the points one more time. There's the points. Yeah, and I think I did see a, a question in the chat you know, how else could you earn points? And we only award points for the nine pre-nursing courses you completed and the TEAS exam. There is nothing else we use to award points at Wake Tech. And Does that clarify did, that? <laughs> and someone did ask about the TEAS. When the T when ATI sends us your scores, they are only going to send us the scores for that test you took. They unfortunately do not, I guess, like super score it. Maybe ACT and SAT will put the best on there. ATI doesn't do that because some schools will only let you take the test once. Uh, you know, so what we do, unfortunately, if you've taken it four times, and you did best on the reading last year and you did best on the best on the math this year. You're going to have to have each one of those tests sent to us. And then we're going to take each score. That's the best. Add them together, divide it by four. And if it's, you know, falls between 71 and 80, you'll get six points, 81 to 90. So ATI yeah. unfortunately will not combine your scores. Each each test you're going to have to have sent to us. All right. Yeah. Um, Hannah, do I need to take the TOEFL if English is my primary language? You do not have to take the TOEFL if you have graduated high school in the US or you have any two year or four year college degree from the US. But if all your education is international, you will have to take the TOEFL unless it's one of those preferred, you know, one of the countries that has the exception. Yeah. And I see a question about the T's math score. If it is a minimum 78, then yes, you can use that to meet your math proficiency. All right. Um, you mentioned an alternate list. Out of curiosity, oh. do you tell people that they may be an alternate? Yes, so what happens after we uh, review and rank and send the list to the nursing department, they identify how many minimum 
students they want to initially accept, and let's just say it's 80, and then they may identify maybe 30 on the alternate list. Um, the nursing department will send out a letter to the accepted students, a letter to the alternates, and then a letter to the students that are declined. And if you are an alternate or acceptance students, you will be invited to the actual nursing orientation. And as there are seats available, then the nursing department will notify those alternates in rank order to ask them if they want to accept an open position in the nursing program. So for this fall, our alternate point range is 133 to 139. So as seats are available, they'll start contacting based in the rank order from highest to lowest. Um, we do not use GPA uh, or overall cumulative GPA to, you know, determine how we admit students. We are really looking at just the points that you earn based on the grades uh, for your nine pre-nursing courses and your TES exam score. Beth? Yeah. I had a, um, Annie had a good question. She wants to know what happens when you're not accepted. Okay, so when you're not accepted, um, you know, initially you'll get a decline letter. Obviously, if you're an alternate and we don't have space, then in your letter it will ask you to um, consider reapplying. Um, I'm the contact person for the decline students or alternates who um, want to reach out to see what they can do to improve their chances. So um, we'll look at the grades that you've earned and see if we want to recommend that you repeat a course to improve your grade and points. We'll look at your TES exam score. You know, do you need to uh, prepare better for the TES to improve um, your score for points there, but we can also look at other programs that may have similar course requirements. Um, we may refer you to our Career Lens Lab for career counseling. Uh, we might suggest that you look at other smaller um, schools that have a less competitive admission process for the nursing program if you're interested. So there's various things, but you'll have um, my contact in the letter if you're an alternate or a decline so that you can explore other options. And that way we're going, you know, I'm going to work with you individually and look at your situation. OK, um, Angela, sure, you need to ask a question without chat without the chat. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I don't type that fast enough. I don't think. Hi, I'm Angela. Um, hi. hi, so I I thought I was told that I have to take this math. Um, it's kind of like a course that Wake Tech offers. I think it's like M.O.C.C. because I did math. So I'm so old. So I did math a long time ago. <laughs> Um, and I actually did math and Wake Tech in 2005, but of course it's not, it's no longer accepted. So I passed the math, I did the T's, passed the math. I don't know what score is acceptable for that. Is that, when I asked you that question, was that in reference to not the T's requirement, but the math, let's say I haven't done it in 10 years type of thing. Right. If you have a minimum 78 score, Mm -hmm. on the T's math, that mm -hmm. is an option or a way to meet your math proficiency. And okay. then the MOOC is the MOOC, the Massive Open Online Course that you can actually complete through um, Blackboard. It's online. 
there's three mm -hmm. lessons and it's a review of basic math and pre-algebra and you would actually complete the lessons and the the yeah. test and earn um, a badge for each of those so that's another option but you know if you want to um, email the HS advising we can check your T score to see if that if you've met it that way. Mm -hmm. Or and are we, there any other tests that because um, I don't know if I met the math part. <laughs> I did I did great in reading and all that, but I'm not quite sure I did great in math. I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I would email HS advising and then we can look at your student record to verify what you have and if you've met it. OK. OK, well, thank you so much for answering that. Yeah, you're welcome. Appreciate it. You are welcome. And let me just follow up on that math MOOC. I think there's six badges. You only need to complete the first three. Great. Yeah. Um, so it's pre-algebra and every, each section you complete, you get a little badge. And once you have those three, if you have a screenshot of that, then just submit that to us so we know you have it. Oh, I don't have to do all of them because those, those things are pretty long. I've been working on one for a long time. <laughs> no, yeah. Just the first three. And they're a good refresher for anybody on the T's test. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to prep, um, that math MOOC is free. You can start it at any time and it's a good prep for the, for the math part of the T's. Okay, so yeah. the first three, so you have to have three badges. Is that what you're, I, I'm hearing? The first three. Okay. Well, gosh, I wish I knew that before. <laughs> Thank you so much. This has been helpful. Thank you. And honestly, the MOOC, someone was asking about it and we answered it. And then the MOOC also has a chemistry. It's got a reading and writing section. Um, it's all free. You're not committed to completing any of it. If you just want it as a prep for the T's, it is there. Yes, that is great. Thank you for sharing that, Shelley. Yep. And someone asked how to register for it. The easiest thing to do is just go to the Wake Tech website and up at the top, you're going to search for MOOC, M-O-O-C. Um, so Massive Open Online Course. And when it comes up with the search, you will look for the MOOC catalog. And, and I can't spell catalog. Uh, so, and when you look up the MOOC catalog, it will have those different items that you can use and completely free for you. Ooh, we're doing good. We're about on time. Yeah. Any any other questions? I can go back. I can go to the pretty little question screen again. Boop, boop. Yeah. There you go. I did have one yeah. more question, and I'm so sorry. No, um, don't apologize. So I started Nurses Aid. I already actually started my Nurses Aid. It ends literally on the 24th of September. Um, Pearson View is not giving their NA until October, I think. Is that okay as long as I'm finished and I have a letter from uh, Shades of Purple saying that I have, you know, I have, I'm yes. signed up, I'm, I'm in class? Yeah, because you are completing the nurse aid program by the September 30th um, extended deadline for nurse aid. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, Absolutely. as long as I have the letter. And we're sending this to our advisor? Um, just include that with the clinical nursing application. Okay, okay. Thank you and, so much. Oh, you're welcome. And I'm glad you were able to locate a, a class that, you know, works with the timeline. <laughs> yeah. Thank and, you. Stacy, did you have a question? Look like yes, you're unmuted. One more. Okay. How long? I did. How long does the is it the anatomy and physiology last? And I know okay. it has to be good through you're in nursing school through the whole time that you're there. No, um, it has to no. be. Yeah, it has to be um, within five years of nursing program entry. So okay. if you are applying for fall of 22, 
and you took anatomy and physiology two fall of 17, then your anatomy and physiology one and two sequence are current. So we look at the year and the term. And Thank just, you so much. And um, just to follow up, and Beth will clarify this if she needs to, when we look at that sequence, we look at bio 169, the ANP2, to be within five years. So if you took your ANP1 and 2 back in 2000, and you feel comfortable, yes, I do know my ANP, you could just come back and just register for the biology 169, the ANP2. And once you've completed that with a C or better, you will receive credit for both the A and bio 168 and 169. Now, if you don't feel comfortable, then don't do that. Because again, remember, those points on those bios, if you make a C in A and P1 and a C in A and P2, you're just not going to be competitive. I'm sorry. Um, the biology really needs to be be strong. Right. So, but it's based on that A and P2 time. Yeah, and that's, you know, really where you want to, um, you know, reach out to a health sciences advisor so we can look at <clears throat> the grade, excuse me, <clears throat> your, you know, grade for anatomy and physiology one, even though it was a long time ago, and just really discuss, is it realistic that you remember um, that content because you're, Anatomy and Physiology 2 instructor will pick right up from, you know, A and P 1. So they will expect you to be able to pick right up. Um, so that's, you know, really an opportunity for you to reach out to an advisor and have that conversation so that you can make the best decision for you. Does that help? Yes, yes. OK, that great. works. Thank you. Right, great. <clears throat> All right. Are we good? Any other questions? <clears throat> I hope so. Um, is there a retake policy for TOEFL? No, we don't have a no. No, mm -hmm. there's not. Um, TOEFL scores are valid for five yeah. years. Um, and if you have to retake it because you didn't meet the minimum scores, you know, again, if you've already met minimum scores in some sections, um, you still have to retake the entire exam. But let's say that you met reading, listening and writing scores the first time, but you needed to improve your speaking score to minimum 24 then we'll just be looking for that speaking score to improve to minimum 24 when you retest. Your, your scores are going to be valid for five years, but you do have to take all four sections of the TOEFL exam if you do retest. <clears throat> yep, and I know Beth and I both, we, we hate for people to keep retaking it because it is expensive. Is it 250? Two? Two. Unless it's in, increased, it might be higher than it used yep. to be 200. Yep. And I will say we, we have very strong students taking the test. Usually they do well on everything but the speaking. So I would practice, practice, practice the speaking because you will be speaking in a microphone and you want to be very clear and concise. So please practice that before taking the exam. Um, oh. Why? Um, Anna, uh, I thought we did this. The nurse aid was being offered by Wake Tech. It, it is. Now, it's not through self-service. Remember, <coughs> nurse aid Wake Tech is a continuing education. But yeah, they could all very well be filled up at this <coughs> moment. Yes. Because a lot um, of students need it. Yes, and typically they'll post schedules three to four months in advance. Um, so if you're trying to apply by January 31st of 22. For fall of 22, you need to start looking for what's going to be offered in the fall, but do check every couple of weeks. You'll see that they will add additional nurse aid classes. And we have a variety of campuses and variety of schedules 
both day and evening that are available. Yeah, right now it looks like they might have just added two more. They're hybrid. They're at the public safety, but they don't start until October 21st. Yep. Yeah. So, and I think they fill it up really fast because remember we also have radiography and sonography that need nurse the nurse aid course and they weren't teaching them until April. Yes, it took a while for this year, so we had a bunch of a bunch of backup for the nurse aid. Yeah, you know, with the pandemic last year and then the spike in the COVID-19 cases earlier this year, we've had some challenges, but I think we're pretty getting pretty much back to normal yep. with offering the nurse aid on a regular basis. All right. Yes. All right. Any other questions? questions I we hit three o'clock and I don't want to take up anybody's time they might have other things or meetings or classes um, and we've recorded it so hopefully we'll put it on our YouTube channel to if anybody else has questions oh good I'm very glad everyone found it help that is that is our goal yeah <laughs> you know you're always welcome to apply to the nursing program there's no fees. We just don't, you know, we hate to disappoint students when we have to send them letters. They, you know, just want to make sure you're ready. Yeah. You want to have a realistic chance of being competitive and also meeting the requirements before you apply. All right. I'm just. All right. Yay. Yeah. Well, thank you everybody for joining. You are so welcome. Please reach out to hsadvising at waittech.edu. Um, you can schedule a virtual appointment with a health sciences advisor. Uh, we are open, like I said, uh, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, with the exception of July 5th. <laughs> um, you can come see us or you can schedule an on campus appointment as well. So we have lots of options to reach us. And we're here to help you and make sure that um, you are developing a good academic course plan to be successful in reaching your educational and career goals. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you guys for joining. I'm very yeah. pleased. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Oh, you um, too. Yay. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Good thank night. you. Bye. <laughs>